How about a little daily dose of Dawn? It's a vlog that I want to start right now. And this is gonna be my first episode, my first video from my blog. And I'm gonna show like some real life moments. And I wanna start with what my life is like when I'm on the go, because you know I travel a lot. You know I'm you know, either, well maybe you don't know, but I'm either in a car, in a truck, on an airplane, in a hotel, in an Airbnb, at an event, at my boyfriend's club in New Jersey, at my club here in um, Muley, or working on mental training, or talking to clients or potential clients. In my life, I'm on the go a lot. So I wanna start sharing it with you. And there's pros and cons to everything, right? There's struggles and challenges with everything. And I wanna not only just share all these positive things in my life, but also you know, how we get through the challenges. So I want you to know my house was an absolute, all right, maybe not absolute, but it was, it's been a mess because I drop and go a lot whenever I'm in this traveling mode. And you know, we came back um, from New Jersey we drove all day on Monday after going to the Northeast Regional in Maryland. And um, and then it was on the go for the rest of the week because I have a new manager that I'm training. I have a really awesome um, employee that's leaving. That's part of my family. And um, new another new business venture that's uh, gonna be announced soon. And um, anyway, so my house has been like drop and go. I've got piles of stuff and I wanna show you. Um, is this gonna let me turn my camera around? Maybe not. Well, I'll just show you like this. This is the result of what I've been doing all morning. The last few hours anyways. I got garbage, I got clothes I'm donating. I got my luggage that I finally unpacked even though I came back almost a week ago. Um, you know, stuff. So. I don't really want to share that. I want to share this little thoughts from this cute little book that I have um, and give you some insight related to how you can apply this in your life. So may you always have positive thoughts. May every day of your life bring you fresh hopes for tomorrow because hope gives all of us our reason for trying. May each new day bring excitement, joy, and a sense of expectation. Expect the best and you'll get it. Now, I teach a lot of people how to actually do that because it sounds easier than it is. Maybe it sounds hard <laughs> if you've tried it already, but may you find peace in the simple things because those are the ones that will always be there. May you remember the good times and forget the sorrows for the good times will remind us how special your life has been. May you, you experience all the good things in life the happiness of realizing your dreams, the joy of feeling worthwhile, and the satisfaction of knowing you've succeeded and succeeded at whatever it is that's important to you. Still continues. May you find warmth in others, encouraging smiles, and loyal and honest friends. May you realize the importance of patience and accept others for what they are with understanding and love. You'll find the good in every heart. May you have faith in others and the ability to be vulnerable. Open your heart and really share the miracle of love and intimacy. Above all, may you always have positive thoughts. That was from Regina Hill. So let's take a moment. May every day of your life bring you fresh hopes for tomorrow. Some people get so frustrated with their life. And you know, one of the biggest sources of that frustration is thinking things should be different. Um, thinking that, you know, today was supposed to go like this, this, and this, or, you know, I can give an example. My employees should stay and never want to move on and do different things in their lives, right? Which is silly. Um, you know, my business and my life kind of turns upside down whenever I have a new employee to train or hire. And, um, you know, what, which is this, you know, typically this juggling act all of a sudden becomes a little bit more challenging. Um, but you can always find hope and you can always see the good in a situation. Um, even though, you know, it's hard to see a loved one 
go into a different direction. I know that we're gonna still see her, but just using that as an example, I'm also excited for what the new person brings and um, the experience that new, that new person's gonna bring to my shotgun club um, and to the business and everything. So that's kind of how you do it. You just look for the good in a situation. You know, there's a saying, it's all good. And you just need to know how to look at things that way. Um, you can be excited and have joy and a sense of expectation each day. Like we just don't know what to expect. You don't really know what's gonna happen in the next five minutes, what's gonna be around the corner, what's, um, you know, what phone call you're gonna get. And yes, some of those can be difficult phone calls and some of those can be what I call curveballs, and they're not what we expected and it takes a little bit of effort for you to work your way through it. But there's also super cool things like that chance meeting while you're sitting um, or standing in, in the coffee shop line waiting for your coffee. Um, that phone call that you didn't expect, or the good news that you know something is working out to your advantage or meeting that right person at that right time. That, those things are serendipitous. They're super exciting to me. It's actually one of my most favorite things about life is the serendipitous moments. You never know when they are gonna happen. You never know what they're gonna be. And the things come together. And if you can start to look at life that way and see them, it becomes truly fun. It's interesting. Um, it's fascinating really to see how things fall together and they can a lot of times fall together for your advantage. But if you're too busy being stressed out, aggravated, overwhelmed, <laughs> behind the eight ball and thinking negative thoughts, you will actually miss those really wonderful serendipitous situations and people that could be literally right there in front of you. So there are lots of good things going on around you in each day of your life. And it just takes a little bit of time and practice to train your mind to see them. So I hope today that you do have hope and you do have enjoyment and that you do, let's see, um, open your heart and really share the miracles of love and intimacy. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video blog.